It's been about a year and a half since Black Panther actor Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey got together. Back in November 2020, the two landed at the Atlanta airport, spotted getting off the plane to go over to the Harvey residence where they joined Lori's father, Steve Harvey, and mother, Marjorie Harvey, for Thanksgiving dinner. About a month and a half later, the two went public with their relationship in January 2021 when they both posted pictures of each other on social media. It was Michael B. Jordan's first time being public about a romantic relationship and then later on that year, exactly one year later after they were first spotted together in November 2021, the couple appeared to be going strong when they showed up once again in Atlanta for Thanksgiving with the Harvey family. Lori shared this video on Instagram, joking about Michael B. Jordan's appetite, saying that he started off Thanksgiving early with three plates of food. I'm good. Pour, pour the glass to right there. Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> Go ahead and take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click that notification bell for all updates. Throughout his career, Michael B. Jordan was always private. He kept his personal and business separate and his romance out of the public. Lori Harvey, on the other hand, had just ended things with rapper Future a couple of months before getting with Michael B. Jordan. At some point, she was juggling Future and Trey songs. She was with Akon's brother, Boo. And we can't forget about her dating Justin Combs, as well as his father, Sean Diddy Combs. Now, to me, it was odd that Michael B. Jordan was trying to settle down with the woman who not only dated a guy like Future, but was known for messing around with a father and his son. And by the way, I'm sure Corinne Steffes is somewhere looking crazy right now. She was out here promoting that men should wife up 304s. She thought that men should be with them over decent women. And honestly, what do you expect from a woman called Superhead? But Future is a barometer. If a woman dated Future anytime after 2011, 2012, his Tony Montana or Magic days, when Future was fishtailing out the parking lot, leaving Magic with two women that he got out of Magic, he said he made work disappear and called it Magic. Well, the women that got with Future showed you what they like. They like the bad guys tied into street activities. They like money and they love wearing Magic City uniforms, dancing like Magic City girls. That's what they all like. I don't know what was worse for Lori, dating Future or messing around with a son and then his father, but when she got with Michael B. Jordan, all the talks about her being passed around ended. The couple was promoted and placed on a pedestal, really by black women, as black love or a couple goals. I've said plenty of times here that Michael B. Jordan was a great look for Lori Harvey. Finally, someone she could settle down with. Although she was engaged back in May 2017 to the Dutch professional soccer player, his name was Memphis which was really funny to me the guy that she was engaged to his name was Memphis and Lori Harvey she's from Memphis but Lori she wasn't ready to settle down so she broke off the engagement and ran to the streets where she made a name for herself juggling a lot of rich famous men and although Lori was out of the streets you had some people wondering why would Michael B Jordan rescue her out the alley honestly since he got with her it's debatable whether or not his career took a dip or if he remained focused and on track but one thing it did do for Michael B Jordan was get him in good graces with black women before he got with Lori Harvey, you had black women really upset with him because they saw him out on a boat with a bunch of white women. They even started coming for his sexuality, saying that he didn't like women. And then overnight, when he got with Lori Harvey, all those rumors stopped and black women loved him again. Steve Harvey had to finally convinced Lori Harvey to leave Future alone. Future had to come out with a song and told us to tell Steve Harvey he didn't want her anymore. And now this. Okay, I'm just being honest, but a lot of people realize that this was a contract relationship, a PR relationship. Lori was able to clean up her act for a year and a half and black women stopped criticizing Michael B. Jordan about non-black women. It was well put together, great looking couple, and for Lori's sake, it was the best look she's had. They could have stayed together for 40 years and had this great ending, but that's not what 304s do. They get tired, they get bored. That's why they like men like Future in the first place. They like guys like Future because to them it's never a dull moment. 304s don't like routines, they don't like peace. 
Michael B. Jordan is a routine type of guy and word is that he wanted to marry this woman but Lori Harvey wasn't ready to take it that serious. Nothing has changed here even though it's 2022 you still can't turn a 304 into a housewife. Lori enjoys being an alley cat in the streets. She don't want to be locked down she want to do her thing. You know for a small moment though I thought Lori had finally learned something from her mama. Her mama liked street dudes too before she got Steve Harvey to settle down with her. Marjorie was married to a Memphis king Pen. She had kids from him. And then when he got caught up, she moved on with his own cousin and had kids with him. Lori Harvey's real daddy is a street dude. But Steve Harvey, he came in, adopted her, gave her his last name, cleaned up Marjorie's image. And I thought that's what they tried to do with Lori and Michael B. Jordan. The two didn't last long term, but I guess the contract expired. If Michael B. Jordan ended up with any other woman besides a black one after Lori, I'm sure black women will go back to hating him again. But we'll see what happens here. He's 35 years old and Lori is 25 years old. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. This relationship was obviously a great look for Lori Harvey, who was able to change up her image, roll out a skincare line, but was this a good look for Michael B. Jordan? Sound off below in the comments. One time for my sister Brittany for sending this story in, as well as the brothers Dark Power, Raphield, Sir Shy, and Darren. I appreciate all of you for your support. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share. So your youngest daughter's dating Michael B. Jordan. Um, I actually knew that was happening a while ago because Michael B. Jordan uh, texted me and asked uh, uh, Portia and I to help him to surprise her for her birthday to get horses for them to go riding. And which, and I thought, isn't he the greatest? He's just the greatest guy, isn't he? You know what? I have tried not to like him. I have tried to find something wrong with him that I could dig in and go. Because I done got rid of all of them. All of them. Some of them that snuck in the back door on me and lasted a lot longer than I wanted it to, but... This guy is such a good guy, man. He is one of the nicest guys, man. I met his father. You know, I've set up with him. We've talked for hours. I just can't find nothing wrong with him. I, I'm hoping to, you know, between me and you. Well, hey, this ain't nothing between me and you. Hell, we on TV. I'm, I'm hoping this lasts, you know, because this, this is a really, really good guy, man. You know, and I, I you know. I can't whoop him, so it's, you know, yeah. Like most, you know, most guys I say I can jump on him and take him out, but he just looks like a real ass whooping in the making. So yeah. I'm just hoping they make it, you know. No, I, I hope it lasts too. But you know, he seems crazy about her because he's not really settled down like this before, and he was so determined to find the right horse to to have a romantic date with her. And I, I just I've loved him for a long time, and and so I'm I'm happy for you. I think you're gonna have a. I think you'll have him in your life for a while. He's a good guy. Oh, God, let's hope so. <laughs>